Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight, and we're, we're going to mix it up a little bit here. We're doing a little bit of parachuting. Parachute jump for beginners. Guns and gasoline. Now, I don't do a whole lot of parachuting. Not particularly good at it. So that's why I've decided to pick a, a beginner's one to do my grinding during this double, double money, double RP period of time. And I tried it earlier in the week, and it's very hard to get consistent results, especially if you're playing the harder parachute jumps, because you get penalized a lot for not hitting the final target. You know, for instance, on this particular jump, if I get within the circle, I'm usually cruising around 4,000 to 4,500 with the double, the double money playing. Woo! It's not real critical that you hit every target. You want to hit more of them because you'll get more money, but that's not, you know, it's, it's a matter of a couple hundred dollars, I think, at that point. As a matter of fact, there was one where uh, I got interrupted and I walked away from the game while I was still sitting in the helicopter thinking I'd just come back to the helicopter. And when I got back to the game, and it already jumped for me. You only have so long to wait up there. It'd be interesting to see if he actually pushes you out or something like that. But... So I fell a long way away from the target, but I struggled my way back to the target and landed in the target circle pretty dead center, and I got almost $9,000. So it's, you know, again, on a normal, everyday basis, uh, it would be half that, but still $4,500 in a couple of minutes if you do it just right isn't bad. A couple, you know, $2,000 or... Okay, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky. And... Not quite perfect. The trick there is to hit the left shift right when you're over the target and then push you know, push W and go down, or however you do it on a, on a console. See, $4,500, $45. Not too bad for a short period of time. You know, a minute 30, so you're looking at, you know, what, 3000 or so per minute if you do it right. If, you, if I miss that circle, it drops it to 2900 here, so... And, of course, that means those numbers would be cut in half for your your normal everyday kind of thing. So you're figuring high-end 3,000, low-end, you know, 1,000 or something like that, depending on how things go. It's a wide range. It depends on how well you do. But if you like parachuting it's and just, just cranking, one, cranking something like this one after another is not a bad thing thing. Now on this one, I'm tempted just to see if I could just, rather than try to hit all of the uh, the points, if, if I just stretch out the time, is that, is it a matter of time? Like if I, if I really make this last a long time, missing all the points, but just twirl around for 10 minutes, but still hit the target. See, that's the tricky thing. It's very, very tricky to get to the target if you're not following the path to the target. You can do it. Yeah, we'll just do this as a normal one as I talk. This is, it's not as foolproof as my normal grinding method of, you know, running races and parking the car at the finish line, as far as solo jobs are concerned. And obviously, if you're playing with other people, then, you know, you might make a lot of money. Or you might make nothing. It's just going to depend on how well you do. We'll try that next. We'll try and get a, an active session. And see if we can, uh, as opposed to a solo session. Go trying to bring it down, bring it down. Let's shift. Come on, down, 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 down. Oh, just missed the dead center. 200 points. Not too much else I can show you from this video, really. This is about all there is to it. I mean, you know, you can make that much money every minute. Quite profitable. 
Okay, I think this last one we're going to do a couple experiments. Two experiments for you. Experiment number one is, do I just eventually jump out of the plane, or is it a matter of getting pushed? How long do they give you? And we'll probably do a little bit of a time warp on this. So we shall see. Ah, you just jump. Now it'll be interesting to see again. Does, did that extra time increase the amount of money I get? Uh, we landed it in the circle. That wasn't too bad. Score of 190. 232, 032. It's a lot more time. Put another minute on that. How much money do we get? Sometimes they don't tell you in the in the results screen, which I don't understand. It's not consistent. 67.80. So you could, by waiting that extra minute, you get another $2,000. It's time-based. Wow. Well, that leads to entirely other kinds of techniques here. You might want to try and get the highest. Well, I mean, it's, it's a, on a per-minute thing. So, I mean, if you cr can crank out more runs in a, in, a, in a certain amount of time, you probably make more money. It's, you'd, have to, you'd have to do math. That's your homework assignment, which is, is it better... Just to hang on the plane for the extra... I think hanging on the plane for that extra minute. Hanging on the choppa. I think, I don't know, $2,000 is a lot. That's $2,200. Well, let's... Yeah, let's live it. 